Hi, in this video I'll show you how to assemble the laser cut enclosure for OpenSprinkler Pi. In the past, OpenSprinkler Pi has been using the OpenSprinkler injection molded enclosure. While this has worked, the enclosure is not tailored to OpenSprinkler Pi, so some of the cutouts on the side are not well aligned with the Raspberry Pi. This new laser cut enclosure is completely designed for Open Sprinkler Pi and it's also very easy to customize. Before we begin, please check the enclosure pieces. There should be uh, six panels and uh, a screw bag which contains four longer plastic support pillars, four smaller plastic support pillars and uh, altogether eight uh, screws. Also, if your Open Sprinkler Pi has the terminal blocks pre-installed, please remove these terminal blocks. The first step is to assemble Raspberry Pi with Open Sprinkler Pi. This will make it easy to align the support pillars later. To do so, plug the Raspberry Pi into Open Sprinkler Pi and make sure that all the pins match each other and there's no misalignment. Then firmly press the Raspberry Pi all the way down to Open Sprinkler Pi. Next, take out the support pillars which include the four long support pillars and uh, four short support pillars. We're going to assemble the support pillars um, through these uh, four PCB holes. So the way we do this is the long support pillar will stay above the circuit board and the, the shorter one will be um, on the bottom. Um, when doing so, because the PCB hole is uh, quite large, um, so when you assemble this, just make sure that the support pillars is um, centered around the hole as much as you can. Okay, so here it is. And again, you know, just make sure that uh, the support pillars are centered around the PCB holes. Uh, when it's well centered, you should not see uh, any gap between the support pillar and the, the PCB holes boundary. In the next step, uh, we'll assemble the bottom portion of the enclosure. At the moment, I will not remove the protective uh, paper uh, on each uh, laser cut piece. And if you do want to remove the protective cover, uh, I'll show you how to do that later. So first, the back panel is the largest piece among the, the six. Um, next, you'll find the four uh, side pieces. So this is the front piece. This is the back. And uh, this one is on the left and this one is on the right. So when it's assembled you can see that each side piece has a top and bottom edge and uh, the enclosure is designed such that there are always more uh, slots for the top uh, piece um, for the top edge uh, than on the bottom edge. That will help you identify you know the orientation uh, of the, uh, the side panels. So uh, the next step is uh, we're going to put the left and the front panels together. So after you have these two in place, then you can try to plug them in to the back panel like this. 
And then next is the left piece. So notice that the left piece has a cutout uh, for the um, zone expansion board connector. So just make sure that uh, you have the hole aligned with the that uh, pin header. And then finally the the back piece. So now we have all the four sides uh, basically assembled. And then the last step is to install the top. So to install uh, the top, I'm going to remove the protective uh, uh, paper. And the easiest way to do this is to, like some people like to use their nail to, uh, you know, peel it off. But this is uh, because the protective paper is really hard. So what I suggest you to do is to actually use one of the use one of the laser cut uh, piece to uh, peel off the protective cover. So this is a lot easier than using your nail, and also uh, this will not scratch the surface, so it works pretty nicely. So just carefully remove the protective cover, and here's the result. So the next thing to do is to assemble the top piece with the bottom portion of the enclosure. You'll see that there's a slit here, and uh, that is a slit uh, for the radio frequency transmitter in case you want to install a radio frequency transmitter and, and make use of the uh, you know RF station feature available on open sprinkler firmware. So once you have uh, all the pieces fit together, then the last step is to just install the screws. So there will be four screws on the top. And four screws on the bottom. So when you do, when you flip the side, just be very careful uh, not to let the enclosure collapse. Just hold everything together, you know, while you flip the enclosure upside down. And there it is. The enclosure is fully assembled. And so the final step is you can plug in the terminal blocks. If you want to customize the enclosure, the first thing is that uh, it's pretty easy to remove one of the side panels. So for example, if you need to connect HDMI cable through the enclosure, um, then you can easily just take down the, uh, the back side piece. Uh, that way, uh, the um, HDMI uh, port will be uh, open for access, and then you can put back the um, top piece and assemble the enclosure back. Of course if you want you can also use a Dremel or the CNC tool to make a cutout on the on this piece and then you know put it back. Finally if you want you can remove all the protective covers from the um, enclosure pieces and that will uh, give it a completely transparent look, which uh, also looks pretty nice. That's all. Thanks for watching this video.